You're watching Let the Quran Speak. Now we answer questions we've received from you, our viewers. If you have a question yourself, visit our website, quranspeaks.com. Okay, Brother Shabir, here's a question uh, from an individual who says, I feel like I have not made use of the time God has given me so far. I lack time management skills. I want to learn the Quran and my faith. I do have a lot of time, but I'm not good at utilizing my time, and I have no motivation. Um, so the person is asking, what advice do you have for someone like her? Mm -hmm. Well, and, uh, motivation will, will, uh, <laughs> will handle the rest or, or will be a, a far advanced. Uh, uh, so how do we develop the uh, motivation? Well, uh, w one way is to uh, think about the ultimate goal. We're, we're learning this for the ultimate goal. The ultimate goal is to please God, to be in the life hereafter, uh, in a high station in paradise. And all of that comes with this learning and practicing of the Islamic faith. And so with that uh, end goal in mind, one will feel some motivation to do it because you see that there is an end result uh, that, that you want to achieve. Now, time management is very important because uh, we all have the same 24 hours in the day, but some people accomplish much and some people hardly accomplish anything. Uh, and uh, the time is always passing and we look at it in hindsight and we say, oh man, my time is gone. What, what did I accomplish? Well, one needs to plan ahead, think ahead of how one's going to use one's time the next day. Think before you go to sleep, what am I going to do tomorrow? Uh, try to use up all of the dead time, the, you know, downtime. For example, people waiting in line to get their coffee at uh, one of the coffee houses. Well, uh, if you had like a pocket size uh, version of the Quran or any book that you want to study, uh, then you just whip it out of your pocket and you read a page or half a page while you're just waiting for your coffee. Uh, if you want to memorize a verse of the Quran, write it on uh, a, a sheet of paper, uh, fold it, put it in your pocket, or get uh, a set of uh, three by five cards. You can buy a hundred of them for a dollar at some shops. Uh, just, just write what you want to remember on that card when you're there waiting for your coffee or waiting at a bank or for whatever reason you're waiting. Uh, just take it out and look at it. Uh, we uh, use a lot of time in commuting. Uh, while driving, for example, if you can listen to an audio cassette uh, or an uh, audio CD uh, that uh, has uh, some lecture or um, convey some information or, 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 or knowledge that you want to learn about, well, then that, that's good use of your time. So it's, it's not necessary that you must have time that you sit down as a student, like you're at, in a classroom, and that's the only way you're going to study. Yes, that helps, and it's good to set aside some such time. But most uh, adults are busy with life, and they do not have that time to set aside. But we can utilize much of the time in commuting and waiting for this or that. Uh, and in, in many other ways, we can actually learn a little bit of the t uh, at a time, and it all adds up. I like that, because it's something that anybody can do. Yes. <laughs> all right. Thank you for that, Dr. Shabir Ali. You're welcome. That's all the time we have. Don't forget to visit our website, quranspeaks.com, and check out our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash quranspeaks. Please write and email us. We welcome your comments and questions. I'm Safiya Ali. For all of us here at Let the Quran Speak, thank you for watching. I'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.